area involving inscribed figures. In your Alex Pie, mouse over the green slice, arithmetic readiness, to reveal the drop down list of topics you need to cover. Click on area involving inscribed figures. A triangle is placed in a semicircle with a radius of four yards as shown below. Find the area of the shaded region. Use the value 3.14 for pi and do not round your answer. Be sure to include the correct unit in your answer. Let's click explain. To find the area of the shaded part, we need to take the area of the semicircle minus the area of the triangle. We must find the area of the semicircle and the area of the triangle. The radius of the semicircle is 4 yards. Thus, the area of the semicircle would be half pi r squared because a semicircle is half of a circle. And so that's going to be half times 3.14 for pi times 4 squared, which is 25.12 yards squared. The height of the triangle is equal to the radius of the semicircle, which is 4 yards. The base of the triangle equals the diameter of the semicircle, which would be 8 yards, because 2 times 4 is 8. So the area of the triangle is as follows. Half of the base times height, so we have half times 8 times 4, which is 16 yards squared. Now we can find the area of the shaded region. Subtracting the semicircle, taking the semicircle minus the triangle. So we have 25.12 minus 16. So our area of our shaded region is 9.12 yards squared. Let's try another one. A circle is placed in a square with a side of 10 feet, as shown below. Find the area of the shaded region. Use 3.14 for pi and do not round your answer. Be sure to include the correct unit in your answer. Here are my notes. The area of the square minus the area of the circle is what we need to do to find the area of the shaded part. So for the area of the square, since one side is 10 feet, all of the sides are going to be 10 feet. So length times width, 10 times 10 is 100 feet squared. For the area of the circle, um, since that formula is pi r squared, we don't know the radius just yet, but we can conclude that the diameter is 10 feet also because if this is 10 feet, even if we draw it down the middle, it's 10 feet, or if this is 10 feet, we draw it down the middle going this way, it's also going to be 10 feet. So since the diameter is 10, then the radius would be 10 divided by 2, which is 5. So now we can plug numbers into this formula. So for pi r squared, 3.14 times 5 squared equals 78.5 feet squared for the area of the circle. Now we can subtract the area of the circle minus, I'm sorry, the area of the square minus the area of the circle. So 100 minus 78.5 equals 21.5 feet squared for the area of the shaded parts. In my Alex screen, type in the answer that I got in my notes, 21.5 feet squared and click next and it says that I got the correct answer. Thanks for watching.